Hi folks, today I thought we'd be looking at some uh, creating dynamics with your flat pick, or some people just call this a pick. So I thought we'd use uh, When September Ends as a good example for the doing that. So here it is a quick run through and then we'll explain what we're doing. up to that point the song's pretty quiet and it's more of the uh, mellow part of the song and so in order to get that kind of feel what I'm doing with my pick is I'm angling it quite a ways up it's almost the point is almost pointing up kind of like that and what you're gonna do is just take the pick and angle it so it's almost pointing at you right and then instead of digging into the strings you glance off them instead and so without even changing any of the patch, you get this sort of thing. Right. Intro, you're going to be playing on the D string, the 4th string on the 5th fret. You're going to be on the B string, the 2nd string on the 3rd fret. And your G string, the 3rd string, is going to be open. And the picking is just basically straight down. So it, there's a bit of a, a change in the rhythm of how that's played. So it's not just uh, one, two, three, one, two, three. It's kind of. Now you're gonna see later on that I really haven't changed my picking pattern that much or even the strength of how I'm picking it, but I'm angling the pick a little bit more acutely. So it's almost straight up and down and you get the same notes, same um, speed that I'm hitting the strings, but you get this instead. <laughs> And you're going to find that you can also uh, quiet things down if you do a little bit of palm muting down here. So you can do this sort of thing at the very beginning. And as you pull your hand away, again, I haven't adjusted my amp or my guitar and I'm not cranking away with my pick. It's just a, a combination of using palm muting and how I'm uh, using the uh, pick on an angle. So we'll break into the next part of the song and you'll see how it builds. So here is fifth fret of the D, fourth fret of the D. Okay, now it's the same um, notes, but your fingering is gonna change. So then you're gonna take your third finger and place it on the third fret of the B and your first finger and you're going to place that on the second fret of the D string. So what you get is the this note here, the third uh, fret of the B stays the same, the open G stays the same, and what ends up happening is you get the D descending. So it starts on 5, goes to 4, 3, or 2, sorry, and open. And so you get this. Finger is on the third fret of the B. Same picking pattern. Then lift this finger right off, and all you're doing is playing the D, the G open, and the B is still on third fret. So those two chords together would be. So one more time from the beginning. Again, we're on five, going to four, then down to two, and open. that part there you can create a little bit more dynamics 
instead of just doing a simple pick straight ahead. Grasp your pick a little bit harder and then give it a triplet. That can give you a lot more power during uh, those build up parts. Okay, and then when it goes to that other part is um, a C and it's a bar C. So essentially your first finger will be on the third fret of the A and the second or a third finger will be barring straight across the fifth fret taking care of the D the uh, G and the B string all on fifth and so you get that is one of your typical bar chords and you get this and then you change this bar to what really looks like an A minor down here okay but because of the bar it's C minor so again it's this. So you can hear we've already built up some emotion, some uh, depth to what we're doing in the chords, and then just. <laughs> get a lot more oomph in what you're doing if you go for the lower note on the G as well. But a lot of it has to do with pick because if you kind of glance off the strings, you get a kind of a cleaner sound. Now the, the patch I'm using isn't totally clean, but lots out of the pick and we haven't even changed the patch all we're doing is either attacking the strings um, with the the pick angled slightly so you're kind of glancing off the strings you, you can also um, attack the strings a little bit more directly so you're actually coming straight onto the strings instead of on an angle and the other thing too is as you're um, um, playing you can uh, palm mute before you go into um, a louder section. So in other words, if you're doing something a little bit more quiet, use your palm a bit at the bottom here. Not as much as that, but you can see what I'm trying to do there. Now I'll take the palm away. I'm actually hitting it as hard as I was a couple seconds ago. The other thing too, you can also dig the pick a little bit deeper in the string so you get a lot more resistance when you're playing and you'll find that you'll get a little bit more oomph out of it that way. So here's the next part of the song. And then you're going to go to um, this uh, kind of, um, I don't know, skeleton of a G really. It's just the G note here on the uh, sixth string, uh, third fret. And then you're going to basically play this low note here. Then you're going to follow it up with the G open and then the D, the third fret of the B string. So it's third fret of the, of the sixth, third string open, third fret of the second. So that's uh, it for today so far. Um, we'll go over the next parts of the song later on. We'll even go into the solo. Uh, so we'll do that uh, tomorrow. But for now, just remember that you can create a lot of emotion and a lot of what you're doing, not necessarily through pedals or even your guitar or even your amp. It's really how you're using this pick because you can get a lot more emotion and a lot of things out of what you're playing by how you utilize this. Um, and just uh, for interest's sake, it, it also uh, involves um, a lot of uh, tricks that you can do. For instance, uh, uh, what they call pinch harmonics, or some people call it art artificial harmonics. We can go into that later, but a lot of that has to do with how you're using your pick down here, right at the pickups in what they call the sweet spot. 
and then you can uh, get extra uh, harmonic notes off any notes you're playing, whether they're chords or or uh, soloing. So again, we'll go in that uh, over that later. But uh, for now, take care, and we'll see you down the road.